Hi, I'm Rod from Rotolite, and today we're going to be taking you through how to control your Rotolite Titan range wirelessly. The Rotolite Titan series includes an integrated Lumen Radio Timo 2 wireless DMX and Bluetooth module that make it extremely easy to control your lights wirelessly. The first thing I'm going to take you through is wireless DMX. To access this, simply click on the DMX menu shortcut icon and here you'll find an overview page where you can select your DMX base address as well as the DMX mode. Once you've select your base address, for example, in this instance, I have this set to channel 17, then go to the in and out page. To control it wirelessly on input, you have the options locally for control via the knobs, DMX cable for a standard wired network, or in this instance, wireless. So select wireless input in this menu. Next, on network, you'll see that you have two options, Rotolite and Lumen Radio. The Rotolite mode is a proprietary master and slave mode that allows you to synchronize color temperature, diffusion, and brightness amongst any Rotolite product, and specifically the Rotolite Titan series. In this instance, though, for Rotolite wireless DMX mode, we're going to select Lumen Radio. Now, with that selected, I can now click on the status page, which very helpfully tells me what the light is currently doing in DMX mode. The red screen here indicates that the light is currently receiving no DMX signal. One of the best ways to control the rotor light wirelessly is using the GAFAS control, which uses the same Lumen Radio Timo 2 module. Using the GAFAS control, I simply power on the device and flick the switch called CRMX on. You'll notice shortly that the Titan now changes to green, indicating that it's connected. In the display up here, top left corner, this indicates the current value that it's receiving, so 100% brightness. And it's also telling me that the light is in CCT mode. The light's receiving a good wireless signal and it's currently set to DMX address 17. Using one of the preloaded profiles that comes included with the GAFAS control, I'm now able to control wirelessly the intensity of the light, color temperature of the light, diffusion, green magenta balance, RGB, and I can also trigger and select SFX and various filters. One of the other nice features in the DMX mode is that the Rotolite comes with DMX emulations of the ARRI Sky Panel and the Light Panel Gemini, so that if you're integrating a Titan X1 or an X2 into an existing predominantly Sky Panel network, the Titan will behave and respond exactly as a Sky Panel or a Gemini in the same DMX mode. It's also very straightforward to control your light via an app. Using the same Lumen Radio module, I follow the same processes for wireless DMX. So again, I go to the DMX icon, select in and out. I want input to be wireless, and I still want the network to be Lumen Radio. Download the Luminaire app for your iPhone or iPad from the App Store. Open the app. Now I have a preloaded profile here, but if you haven't already set this up, you press the plus icon and select the Rotolite from the list of options available. If you can't find the Rotolite option available, you can download the profile from rotolite.com. In this instance, I've got the Rotolite Titan selected here. The green screen on the DMX status page is indicating that I have a positive connection to the light. I'm now able wirelessly to control all of the same values I can of DMX. So intensity, diffusion, and I can change color, RGB values, and operate the fan and other such things. So it's very easy to control your Titan over wireless DMX, regular DMX, or Bluetooth. For more information, please visit rotolite.com forward slash Titan X1.